Right, so um, here's one for the books. Can't call this one the smart jewel. Um, this here is a stator out of a uh, smart drive washing machine, three phase motor. And um, with this setup here, we're just using our basic um, solid state Bedini circuit and um, running our LED fairly brightly. And at the moment, we are running on three volts. 11 milliamps. So the way I've worked this is I've split each phase that was um, this was wired up in the star configuration. So I've split each phase. Um, one set of windings is our drive coil. Um, the other set, second phase out of the three, is what we're using as our trigger coil to trigger the transistor. And the third set of windings um, we're using to run the little LED down there. So um, we've just split the three phase into three single phases. And um, once again, one is the run, one is the trigger, and one is just a generating coil running the LED. And uh, it's working quite fine up at around. Um, 12 volts this thing gets really exciting and we have a fair bit of power coming out where the LED is and we can drive a much bigger load like this uh, big LED 12 volt LED stick here um, this is quite happy to run um, off our collector emitter junction um, from the inductive kickback there's no problem there I do have two uh, neons there and you can see if I crank it right up 4 volts our neons light and our little LED there our 10 mil LED is having a whale of a time but um, it works works pretty nice so there is a uh, another little party trick to this sorry about the close up there while I was sitting down what we have here is a little test light um, and it measures from, I don't know if you can see that but it's from downside up 3 to 24 volts Did I get some light on that? 3 to 24 volts and uh, one LED tells you if this is a positive end and the other LED tells you if that's a negative end now of course the um, stator core is isolated from everything. I'm just going to clip one end of this clip lead onto our negative rail and we'll stick this on here. And as you can see, we are producing an AC sine wave uh, which is lighting these two LEDs, an AC voltage straight from the core. And it's isolated from everything and we can also put this on the positive rail if I can get it on there oh, now the whole lot's fell off and once again we still have an AC voltage coming off of our core put this back together. Now the big cap there is only a smoothing cap and I've really gone and done. Hang on, we're going to put you down for a minute. That big cap's just a smoothing cap um, so my multimeter is nice and stable. What I'll do now is um, take my blue channel my scope off Put it on the core, uh, 22.8 volts. As you can see, there's only a slight offset to one side of zero volts of that AC um, voltage across the core, but it is enough 
to light both of those LEDs. Um, I'll just, and of course we didn't have our ground hooked up because we've got the ground on the other scope probe hooked up and they share a common ground. Um, I'll put this back on to our base and uh, turn that back down again and that is the uh, horrible looking sine wave we have. We're only at 2.04 kilohertz. Now channel 1 is cross collector emitter um, and as you can see I am set on 10 volts per division on the probe and also 10 volts per division on the scope and we have 100 volts peak to peak 98.4 volt max across the collector emitter so we're still getting that high inductive kickback um, which is being arrested by that neon at the moment um, so we're not actually using that other than to drive the neon at the moment because our LED is being driven from the third phase of our three phase stator so uh, quite interesting, I've shown this once before but I thought I'd show it again that we can actually pull the voltage off the core itself um, regardless of whether we're using a positive or negative rail on our input and that core is isolated so um, that's showing you the capacitor effect between the windings and the core which is there in all pulse systems Believe it or not, LRC systems or circuits because we've got um, capacitance in our uh, transistor, and I've just shown you very clearly the amount of capacitance that's in this big thing. It's fairly large, so it's fairly high, but um, it is definitely there. That's it, that was just a bit of a muck around. I was pulling this out to, for another project, but um, I thought I'd just throw together a really quick circuit, see if I could actually get it to work using each phase of the three phase motor to do a job, and it's doing it quite well. Alright, thanks for watching, and um, we'll see you next video.